I have promised our audience that you are going to be giving us three of your magical places, three tips on places to go um, as people are seeking, you know, alternative routes, like you had mentioned before, people who want to come and visit the, the United States, um, just different places, depending on how people want to travel, um, you know, to have less people and, and that might be their taste or their comfort level. Uh, so what are your top three places that have yet to be discovered, obviously by you, but of all of us? Well, these places are already discovered by quite a few travelers. And oh, wait, hold also- on, guys. Guys, listeners, please take out your uh, notebook and your pen. This is only going to be one time for you guys. Well, uh, I'm, my list uh, is with our time in mind, what's going on at this moment in history with COVID. So I picked my uh, destinations out of the countries where an American passport holder can go to the airport and fly to, and they don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, The the first one is Africa. Uh, In Africa, my favorite part uh, is Southern Tanzania, the Selu area, Ruaha, Selu. uh, That has very few camps. Uh, it's not because there isn't enough game there. It's basically, there aren't that many flights out there. And it isn't uh, the Serengeti, where you have a lot of cars and a lot of people. Uh, in the Silu area, you know, uh, it's de- defined by this beautiful river called Refugee River. And along that river, there is amazing wildlife. And mm. uh, I mean, you can go fishing and you see all kinds of animals and it is like you own the world like like you bought africa for yourself i'm sold so, i'm there i'm 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 good that's uh, <laughs> i mean if if you allow us to help pick the right time of the year to be there uh it's a great spot it, it's like right now is a great time to go there um so the second a destination that I would highly recommend is this area in Turkey called Urla, U-R-L-A. It's a wine growing region. And uh, you only know that you're not in Tuscany because people are not speaking Italian. <laughs> it's really similar, the wine, it's a beautiful region. And right now all the wines are coming out and they have great restaurants and really fun hotels to go to and the temperatures are like California right now. I mean, right now California is actually quite cool, but they're in, I would say they're uh, low to mid seventies right now. So it's ideal whether to go to Ephesus to see the ruins. And then in the afternoon, you could be uh, wine tasting uh, in a vineyard, where there's Perfect. barely anyone with the own. Perfect. Where do I sign? Anywhere. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's talk about that after <laughs> uh, we finish our list. Um, and then the third place uh, for those of you who don't want to go too far, uh, my favorite area in the Caribbean is an island called Marie Galant. It's a uh, in the it's a French territory. It's a uh, very chic. It's Caribbean of the past. Very few hotels, and it is like you're in a little French village, but you're in the Caribbean. It's really lovely, and it's not a, a destination uh, like other parts of the Caribbean where you see big crowds. Um, I've never heard of any cruise ships going there either. So for those of us who want to be away from it all, these three are great destinations and anyone can go there right now uh, from the United States. So I think this list, uh, there are other places on earth, which I'm sure we'll talk on another episode, Mm -hmm. hopefully. Uh, But right now, uh, provided what's going on right now, this is the best list. 
I love it. Um, I have that list, obviously, and I will be going to those places. I do not know when, but I will be drinking wine in Turkey. I will be swimming in the Caribbean, and I will be going to Africa at some point. So, yes, thank you for all of that. Um, I can't wait to set it up for you. 